guys, it's the Gimp King here today. I'm going to show you how to make uh, a, uh, what's it called? Just a little uh, text effect here, just like this. Uh, okay, that's what we're going to do. First, <coughs> sorry about me being so quiet. Uh, open up a new layer. Make it 600 by 400. Okay. Next, out the old one. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Go to change your uh, background color. Here. I change my foreground to a darkish gray, and I'll green. Gradient it up, just stroke up because uh, if you stroke down the black's gonna be on the top. We don't need that right now. It's supposed to fade from light to dark. Go light. <coughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Make your text. And center the text. Uh, this little then here the alignment tool. Click it. <coughs> click align middle of target and click uh, align center of target. Now I'll make it spot like exactly in the center. Now right click on uh, your text layer and click layer to image size and it'll make your text layer the same size as your background layer. Now right click again and go to Alpha to select it. Now we're going to, uh, let's see, gradient and look for brushed aluminum. Uh, brushed aluminum. I downloaded a bunch of gradients. Thought it cool. I went past these. There it is, brushed aluminum. Now just scroll down. And go to select shrink and shriek by about three. Click OK. Now fill that with black. Now go to select, shrink, and shrink by one. Now you can use whatever grid you want for this, but I'm going to use one of my 3D download ones. I can't remember where I got it from. I remember what website it was. Well, somebody gave me a link. When, uh, I looked on a tutorials website again, tutorials website, and I found a whole bunch of uh, gradients. Like it was a uh, gimp tutorialsnet or com. I don't remember dot com or dot net. Well, I'm gonna use uh, I'm not gonna use black gloss. I'm gonna use black gloss pipe. You can use a different gradient, but I'm gonna use this one try to find that one on that website. I don't no, I don't remember where I got it from. Select none. And here's what you'll get right now. Now I'm gonna select it again. I'm gonna take this, oops, make my uh, color a light or darkish white and uh, set my mode to overlay and just uh, make it a little bit lighter. So it gives it that like I don't know whitish look. I don't know. <laughs> it uh, it looks pretty cool right now. Okay, now let's make it a layer transparency and click OK. Move that layer below the get below your text layer. And uh, let's see, select your text layer and click select. No wait, never mind. No, select your text layer. Or yeah. Go down to alpha the selection which you right click it. Now click new, new layer. Now click select. Grow by five or six, whatever you want. Make your foreground black and fill in. Make sure your new layer selected or you'll be filling in your whoops. Your text layer. But I have it on overlay, so this will look like here. 
I just moved my new layer up, so I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it'll look like. But it'll look like that on the new layer instead of the get kid layer or the text layer. <coughs> Click select none. Make sure your new layer is selected. <coughs> Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it by whatever you want. And there's your text effect, your metal light text effect, your blush, your brushed aluminum text effect. I can't think of a name. I just name it how to make a text effect, a metal light text effect. Um, I'll think about it for a while. If I can't think of one, I just call it how to make a cool looking text effect. <laughs> okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.